Hi, I'm Mark from Dynex Hobby. Today I'm going to talk about how to balance a two blade propeller. For this tutorial, I'm going to uh, illustrate two balance cradles that we use at Dynex Hobby. Uh, the first one is the Whisper uh, balancing cradle, and that's suitable for um, smaller propellers in the order of 10 inches or so. Uh, we also have the, uh, the Titan cradle, which can be used for two plane balancing, but we also have a special adapter that can be applied to the Titan cradle, and this allows you to balance larger propellers for um, larger drones, for example. This propeller, for example, is a 28 inch propeller. You can also balance many different types of propellers, multi-blade with our new software. This particular blade is a 30 inch three blade propeller and we can actually use the Titan balance cradle and adapter to do that. So what I'll do is I'll illustrate two different cradles and then I'll demonstrate how to do balancing with the Whisper. Now the process is actually exactly the same between the two cradles. The only difference is size really. So this is the Titan cradle that we have set up um, with the propeller adapter. So the propeller adapter is purchased separately on our web store and it's actually attached by four bolts just below the um, plate of the propeller. So there's two there and there are two on this side. Uh, beneath the uh, propeller adapter is a brushless motor. Uh, in this example, I have a in-runner brushless motor. I find the in-runners run very well. They're very quiet too. Uh, you can also adapt a outrunner uh, motor assembly, which is mounted to the top of the base plate of the propeller adapter. Uh, in this configuration, so I have the motor mounted below the um, propeller adapter with the propeller sitting nearly flush with the, um, with the adapter. So with the uh, propeller for the, this size, what I've done is I've attached a reflective tape and that actually aids with the, um, the measurement of the motor RPM and also the phase measurement. So this is the Whisper uh, Cradle. It's very similar to the Titan Cradle, but on a smaller scale. Essentially, it's two plates attached by four rubber grommets um, around the outsides of the, the cradle. Now this cradle is designed to run it at low speed, so you don't want to uh, ramp up the motor too high, otherwise it may actually dislodge from the mount and actually cause injury. If you are concerned, um, I recommend placing a zip tie through the rubber grommets and I'll probably secure each one in place. So the motor is mounted to the top plate and I have the accelerometer mounted to the top plate by two fasteners which is supplied in the kit. So in this setup I only need one accelerometer to measure the vibration and I have one laser sensor or you could use an IR sensor. On the side of the motor I've actually placed a reflective tape strip only because it was very difficult to get a good signal return on a laser sensor. So I have this set up on the impulse uh, the impulse will be connected to a PC and also have a speed controller and motor control unit as well. So this whole setup is actually uh, mounted to uh, my bench by two self-tapping screws. So it's fairly secure, you know, you want it to be fairly secure just so it doesn't dislodge and cause any injury. Okay, so here's the setup. So we have the accelerometer mounted to the impulse and a laser sensor module also connected to the impulse. The impulse is connected to a spare USB port on the laptop. Now to conduct the balance, we're going to need a trial weight. In this case, I'm just going to use a piece of black PVC tape and that's very easy to work with too. So essentially the process is we apply the tape as a trial weight to the propeller to determine where the heavier and the light side is and the software will calculate the correction weight. Now the correction weight can be weight added to the propeller to balance it or it could actually be weight removed. Some people tend to sand the blades in order to get the balance. Either way, um, the software will take that into account once you run through the analysis. So what we'll do is we'll open the software up now in Windows and we'll run through the procedure to set it up for balancing. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is click on the multi-rotor balancing method. Click on that, go OK and the following window appears. So once that appears we can select devices and the microphone USB audio and click start. So with everything at rest now, uh, we can click zero. So zero basically removes the noise from the system so that the gauges read zero. So the next thing to do is look at the setup tab. Uh, so with, um, with this particular setup, for the test, I'm gonna be running the, um, the motor about 1500 RPM. Uh, the mass of the rotor is about 100 grams. 
and the balance grade is around about 16 millimeters per second. So I've got two blades and the multi-rotor diameter, I measure that in millimeters, is about 280 millimeters. I'm going to be running this um, uh, particular motor at about 5,000 RPM as an example. Uh, the mass radius is essentially the radial direction from where you apply the balance weight. So it is the distance from the center of the axle of the motor to where you apply the balance weight. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using around about, i measure that, 170 millimeters. So I'll put that into the software. Now this propeller spins in a clockwise direction, um, which is good. Uh, so I'll go to the advanced tab. Uh, the speed sensor is the IR sensor or the laser sensor. And I'm going to be, the correction action will be adding weight to the system. So everything else is normal. That signal set up and go back to live. And we are good to go. Okay, so now um, we're ready to start balancing. So the first thing to do is to click on the calibration tab. So the calibration uh, process is essentially teaching the software on what an imbalance looks like. And we do that by applying a trial weight to one side of the propeller and then running the motor and measuring the vibration. Uh, once we do that, then we actually follow through the process and it determines uh, what they call a calibration coefficient, which is essentially um, a mathematical model of the system to identify um, where the imbalance is. All right, so the first thing to do is to click on step one, and we're gonna run our motor at our test speed, which is about 1500 RPM, and then we're gonna click record data. So let's go ahead. So just waiting for the dials to settle down and click record data. And we're going to ramp down. And now we go to step two. Okay, step two says we're going to apply a trial weight at um, a certain location, in this case at the zero degree position. So on my propeller, I've got two markings. I've got zero degrees and 180 degrees. So I'm going to apply the trial weight on the zero degree position which is about 170 millimeters from the center of the, um, the motor axis. So 0.2, and we're gonna apply that 170 millimeters. Oops, 170, okay. So I'm gonna apply the trial weight about there. Okay, once I've done that, I'm gonna to click to step three. So step three says run the motor propeller again, measure the vibration and record the data. Okay, so now we ramp down, we go to calibration factors, and then we we'll click Calibrate. Once that is done, we'll click Done. So if you click the advanced um, settings, you'll see the calibration factors appear there, so you know everything is nominal and ready to go. So click back on Live. What we'll do now is remove the trial weight. And so what we'll do is we'll run the propeller again at the test speed and measure the vibration. Okay, so our solution says that we need to apply roughly 0.2 millimeters 
um, on the zero uh, degree position or on the, um, on the lighter blade essentially. So I've gone ahead and actually um, determined or measured the, the amount of tape which matches that solution and I'll apply it to the zero degree position. So that's my correction tape, apply to the zero degree position. So the next step now is to run um, the motor at this test speed and measure the vibration to make sure that we're actually okay. Now one thing to note that um, the unbalance of the uh, propeller is around about 36 um, gram millimeters um, and that's before the, trot, the, the correction weight is added. Now the quality limit on our setup is about 9 gram millimeters. Um, so you might want to look at our previous um, videos on, on YouTube and actually talk about what um, you know, the, the imbalance in terms of gram millimetres actually means. So let's run the, um, the motor again with the correction weight applied to the zero degree position and let's um, see where it is. Okay, so that's a, a pretty good um, balance there. So you can see that the quality plane number one turns green. So the, uh, the residual imbalance there of 6.8 um, gram millimeters is less than the quality limit of nine. So that means that the vibration is less than our acceptable limit. Um, we could keep um, running through this process again and again. Um, as you can see there that the solution is now indicating that we need to apply uh, 0.03 grams um, on the 180 degree position and that should bring the vibrations down further. Uh, for me this uh, propeller is well balanced um, so I think that'll be acceptable to now to mount onto a drone or you know, aircraft. Um, so that's a very sort of broad overview on how we conduct um, uh, balancing on a two blade propeller. Now one thing to note that um, this process can be repeated for a three blade repeller. So if I was to get a three blade repeller, um, I would actually label these at um, zero degrees, 120 and 240 uh, position. And so when you run the, um, the trial weight, you would actually apply it to the zero degree position. So where this is indicated here. So you run through the same process again and the software will determine the, um, the correction weight. In this case, the correction weight is actually split between two blades. So it'll be split between the first blade and the second blade and the software will actually tell you where that is. Now, the software can determine balance for any number of blades from two blades up to say, you know, 20 blades. The software will actually do that for you. So there you have it guys. That's the process for balancing a two blade propeller. As mentioned that this process can be repeated for any number of blades or any setup. We find that the process really does help carbon fiber propellers. Carbon propellers, although they're very strong and very light, they're not a very isotropic material. They seem to have a very uneven weight distribution. So even ones which come, um, I guess, pre-balanced out of the factory, it's always a good idea to run a test balance just to make sure that it is well balanced and, and suits your setup. When you perform a balance, it's always best to perform the balance on the motor that you're going to be running with a propeller, if possible. If that's not possible, then any motor will do, as long as the motor is also balanced. So there you have it. Any questions, please post uh, on the link below and um, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.